Good evening, everyone. This is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com, and in tonight's free video, I wanted to look at a couple different ideas with you that all stem from the idea of buying the Dow. So, we've been going through what I would consider is about you know five to six months of pretty solid consolidation here on the weekly chart, and you've got a signal that is suggesting that this may be getting ready for a very significant push higher. I'm not telling you that you can come out tomorrow and buy all of these, but I'm saying if you're looking at the idea that this might rally into the end of the year, there are a couple of names to be focused on. The one that I, th and I think these all might have, it depends on what your time frame is. I think that Nike would be something that I'd be willing to hold into the end of the year, and I also think that this is a fine area to start picking it back up. You've had a little bit of the fallout after the earnings, which drove it nicely higher. You've come back to just right at fill that gap, and if nothing else, I think it would be a candidate for a put credit spread, and that'll be one name that I'm looking at in that way. Then you also have a daily squeeze on Visa. So if you take the idea of thinking long term, but then also recognizing that there are immediate signals here that you can follow, I think this will be worth your time. Now, with all of these, <clears throat> it's worth coming back and looking at the previous signals to see how they played out. Like we've been saying here, it's not to say that you come out here and buy this tomorrow and then it doesn't need a little bit of a pullback, but it's saying if you can see how the squeezes of previous instances have, multi or, um, have eventually played out, we're just looking for a multiple of that. And another example would take you up into, you know, about 140 or so. So given enough time, I think that's a great pick. And then one last one is also Home Depot. So this one doesn't have the same daily or weekly signals, but it does have some decent areas of support that came in here around 192. And I think if you're willing to apply those ideas, or maybe not being straight up long calls, but looking at selling some puts, I think this would be a decent name to do it on any pullbacks in the Dow, and will be worth keeping an eye on for the next several weeks. So I hope that's helpful, gives you a couple new ideas to trade in the week ahead. Also wanted to make sure that you were aware of the summer Fibonacci series that we're going to be doing here at Simpler Trading. So I have the opportunity to trade with Carolyn, is going to be kind of the core of her work. We'll also have John, Bruce, and Raggy. We'll all be going through these setups and showing you how we like to apply them. So these are some names to focus on. This will be some live demonstration of what we do each and every day. And if you think that'll be helpful, well, we hope to see you there. So have a great rest of your evening, and we will touch base on this in the next free video.